Hello everyone, um, I have decided that I will make a change in content, because normally I either upload montages or I just review, well, mostly just main montages, but it's either montages or commentary, but this time I've decided to make kind of, well, not really a mix of both, but like kind of like commentary review some type, because uh, I saw one of my friends, totally not for hacks make commentary videos and I started uh, thinking, huh, oh, those get a lot of views. So yeah, and I want no blame beta, so yeah. Um basically first thing as you can see I am on ketamine and in the top left as you can see I'm on ketamine gentium edition, which is my personal edition of ketamine that I've made to help or to help yeah, to help Thomas make bypasses for uh, ketamine. Because as of currently, Ketamine hasn't been updated since its first release on Nintendo.store slash, uh, I don't know what the ID is, but yeah, it'll be on screen right now. Alright, so, before I start or anything, I would like to say I have nothing against Thomas, nor do I have anything against Nevelac or any of the people who are staff inside of Ketamine. Well, the mainly the only person I have beef with is Anthracite, but that's, that, that'll end soon, I hope. Because I'm not trying to be an asshole, or not an asshole, I'm not trying to be one of the public enemy number one as I used to be. I'd like to say about kind of the client, let's start with the ups. First thing is, of course, the speed. Here's the Cliff UI. First, what I'd like to talk about is ketamine speed. Currently, the speed on ketamine is, without timer, about, I believe, with without speed, it's 6 to 7 BPS. With speed, it's around 10 to 11. However, you can add timer and it'll work perfectly fine with timer and without timer. You can full strafe as well, which is something that I don't, don't really see any clients having because tenacity, yeah, they have speed and all. Like, they have low hop, they have a normal hop, but they don't have a, like, completely full strafe where they uh, can, like, you know, strafe back and forwards without flagging. Because every time that I go on Tenacity, I end up uh, going like forwards and left, and then I'll just flag whenever I use the B hop. And by that, I'll try to simulate it. So basically, if you go like this right here, like that right there, where it says re where it says re enabling in three seconds, that'll that'll work almost nearly 100 100 percent of the time. I have there's been like one or two times maybe where it hasn't worked, but other than that, it Flawless. Other than that, it works flawlessly. Alright, next thing I'd like to talk about is Ketamine's Fly. Currently, Ketamine's Fly is not that of a uh, 70 BPS method as Thomas nor me have found out the method that is being used for uh, making it go 70 blocks. However, despite that, I would say that currently, out of all the clients that have released, I'd say Ketamine's is probably one, if not the best flies that are out there on reliability and speed itself. Now, while it's true that it might not go 70 blocks, what makes up for it is, ketamine, is Ketamine's fly being able to be at a constant timer speed of up to 4. Works flawlessly like you know, right here. Works almost every time, and it goes pretty far as well. I know that it goes slightly below what Azura's fly goes, the Azura fly that got released in the latest update, but has the long jump. As of currently, I do not know if Ketamine has a long jump, but I shall see right now. About would be Ketamine's Killora. Currently the Killora out of any client that I've seen is evenly matched with most clients, but there's some clients that still, not depending on armor, but like just depending on Killora alone, gets completely ram scrambled by uh, Ketamine's Killora. Currently uh, Ketamine's uh, long jump does not work. So yeah, the block I'd say probably is one of the most reliable out of any client because, well, it's well untrue that most clients who have a fully solid auto block. There's some clients that I've seen kind of dips where it depends on like your ping and stuff, depending on or depending on ping, on how solid the auto block will be. Like if we go take a look at tenacity, well not take a look at tenacity, but uh, on tenacity normally the auto block is pretty good. But recently on the newest update, I have been using it on a new VPN that I had because my PIA expired. So I was on a new VPN and I realized that. The auto block seemed a lot less solid from the first times that I was using it, because I would be using it normally, and it would be just fine with like no errors, nothing, be fully solo or fully solid, and I just completely just beat every HVH that I was in. 
but due to ketamine's auto block, it has appeared that ketamine's auto block, not depending on ping or anything, because I've tried it before and after I got the new VPN, and currently it still sides as probably being the best auto block that I've seen since the auto block patch that happened around a few months ago. Okay, next thing I'd like to talk about is ketamine's scaffold. Currently, the scaffold is is around one of the best that I've seen. I can't even talk about the damn scaffold! The thing I'd like to talk about is ketamine scaffold. Currently, the scaffold on ketamine works very good to my testing. It is... Oh, they're talking about me. I'm talking about Um. So currently, ketamine is bypassing with a very Gucci scaffold. It works with speed 1 and speed 2, and no speed at the same time. But at some times, if you do flag quite a bit, it will stop working. Com well, not completely, but it'll flag after a few blocks if you're using timer. But despite that, currently I'm using timer 2.2 with ketamine's scaffold. And it so far is working completely fine with 2.2 timer. Now, that timer, now that could also be due to me having a lower ping. But I'd say overall, it has so far had like no down or up depending on the scaffold. Criticals. Next thing I'd like to talk about is the ketamine criticals. Now we'll start with the downsides. Currently, with speed, the only downside that I'd say is that if you have too, like if you have too many flags or too high VL, which is just your, which is just your level of like flag level. Basically, just think of it like flag level. I'm not going to go into the detail what that is. So basically, take the level of how much flag, or how much flag you have, or flag level you have. Sometimes it'll stop working completely if you have timer on, but however, if you don't have timer on, it should work completely fine flawlessly. Scaffold. If the scaffold falls, or if you fall into the void with the scaffold, you will get cajolted at maximum high, at a high velocity forwards. Now, normally that wouldn't be a problem, but with ketamine scaffold, for some reason, it just cajolts you forwards. Like it's it's like it's trying to find the nearest way to death. Like talk about spending itself. Currently, the client is bypassing very well on high pixel, and so far, there's not that many downsides. But however, the first downside that m many people would go to is that it doesn't have Optifine. However, I would like to combat this by saying, well, it's true that you that it doesn't have Optifine. About the only downsides that you're going to get due to that is somewhat lower FPS. No, no ability to change off the particles or like turn off particles. So you're going to be forced to have the the na noisy ass firework particles. However, that can be fixed by just turning on auto high pixels so that it changes your game before the particles even spawn. Second of all, would be you don't have that very much options when it comes to graphics that you can choose. Third thing I'd say is that despite not have all, having off the fine, there could be some improvements on adding somewhat of like a custom, custom way of like zooming in, like how like how Lunar Client has the smooth zoom in the mod, in the mods. The upsides without it having off the fine. Now I know it might seem weird that there could be any upside to it having off the fine. Now the problem with off the fine itself is that off the fine as a standalone. By itself, no optimization would probably make this client unusable due to the fact that half of the settings in Optifine break. One of the only upsides that I'd say to Ketamine not having Optifine is that you can have the ability to have these really good visual visuals that Optifine or fuck that Optifine would break by its, by standalone. Also, another thing would be. Optifine on a standalone is very, very, very unoptimized. Now, what that means is that normally on like half the clients in, that you'll meet inside of Intent, the ones that have Optifine at least, you'll have not that many FPS or not that good FPS if they have anything to do with shaders, like anything at all to do with shaders. For example, you have Tenacity. If you have Windows 11 on Tenacity, you probably will experience some F some FPS issues by standalone. However, they might have fixed that, so no shade out to them. And another thing that could happen is that with Tenacity on its own, if you use any post processing, its FPS just dies completely. You'll go from having 200 FPS to having like 50, 60, or 80. 80 for me, but 
I go from having like 100 to like 80, mainly. Okay, also another another up to it not having Optifine. On its own, ketamine is incredibly optimized. You will have almost no FPS droppage. As you can see here, I go from 73, 74, and 72. Only like one FPS drop. Only like one or two FPS is what I lose when I'm on when I'm on Academy. And this is while recording. When I'm not recording, I get almost 80 FPS and I don't get any lag spikes whatsoever whenever I'm using Academy. It's it has so little the only lag spike that you could possibly get would be joining a world. But however, however, by its downsides, currently in the Enton version, Ketamine does not save the does not save the secondary color for uh, in the click GUI. Nor does it save the, uh, the tab color. Because as you can see up here, tab color or UI color, it has a sulfo, blend, and all those. And it does not save those inside the current config system. Okay. But one final thing before I go. Well, it's true that most likely making, making this video, I will end up having a lot of hate comments from people who are like, Oh, you're renaming Keta. Oh, MC's trash. And other stuff. Well, it's true that I am using a leaked version of Keta. Well, not really semi-leaked. It's from Intent, but... Well, it's true that I am using a custom version of Keta. That does not mean that I intend to sell this, nor do I plan to redistribute it to any other people. I am only making this as a base to help Thomas update his client. Because he does not currently trust me with the sword onto that. With the Intent version... It will probably be updating within the next week or so, as Ke as Thomas is taking a little break and playing Rust. Now I'm not now I'm not gonna stare any shade to to Thomas because Rust is a good game, but like, man, you know, yeah. And so that's about all I had to say. Only thing left that I could say is subscribe to Gentium, subscribe to Who That Scammer, sub or yeah, Who That Scam. Wait, no, that's not his name on the. His name is Hudat Scammer on YouTube. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to Fred Hacks. And this video is sponsored by Help Me Get Beta.com. Totally not made up from me. But however, I would just like to say I hope everyone has a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.